Hey guys, Crappie Kirby today. We're talking about a couple of baits uh, that uh, I don't usually uh, cover because I have so much success with the crappie magnets. Uh, but there are a couple of baits that I keep in my tackle box uh, for two reasons. Uh, first we're gonna talk about is the Dancer, okay? Uh, and the Dancer now actually comes in all of the crappie magnet colors including the therapist which is my favorite color all right and basically the dancer has an amazing little swim body that little tail all right that action drives fish crazy now you might say well hey i, I catch them pretty successfully with the crappie magnet and that dual action little twin tail well, the difference that I found is sometimes, especially in the summer, which it is, uh, you know, July 3rd, so you guys have a happy, safe 4th of July tomorrow. This is gonna be a short fishy live episode because I don't wanna cut into your family time for the 4th of July weekend, but um, this little action on this tail, bum, 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 if you, in the summer, find crappie that are stacked up on a brush pile and after you try uh, all the colors in the crappie magnet repertoire and you still can't get them to bite, you might switch up the action to a swim bait because probably those fish have been eating shad, they've been pursuing them and they've seen that action of the tail of these shad trying to get away. Um, this replicates that and it will catch those fish Maybe you've seen them on live scope where they'll come up and they'll look at your bait and they'll follow it up and they can't commit with the crappie magnets. So put on one of these. This little action can be, you know, the icing on the action cake uh, with crappie magnets. The other thing we're going to talk about are the crappie at magnets Popeye jigs. Uh, today we're at Lake Olathe. It's a beautiful lake. It's kind of a recreational lake. They've got a really cool. Uh, swim area for the kids, lots of kayakers, lots of uh, paddle boarders. You can't open up your engine on this lake. It's a really a gem in the Olathe area and they've done a wonderful job uh, creating this with frisbee golf up on the hill. They've got a little bit of an amphitheater for summer concerts and an event center as well. So yeah, check out Lake Olathe. Tiny little lake, lots of fish in it, lots of crappie, lots of shad, lots of wipers catfish, walleye, and sawgye are also uh, really good specimens in this lake. But you can catch fish out here, just literally here in the suburb of Olathe, just south of Kansas City and a little bit west. So uh, we're gonna throw a couple of these crappie magnets, Popeye jigs, gonna show you the action on the crappie magnet uh, body here um, with the dancer. And we've had great success over the last few weeks fishing with John Godwin with the Dancer, fishing with Brian Young down in Oklahoma with this little bitty tail action that just creates a little vibration in the water when you're moving it, if you're trolling or if you're jigging where there's a lot of movement with the trolling motor or if you're having trouble pulling those crappie off of the brush pile with the original crappie magnet. Maybe they'll come up and look at it try one of these, it might just be the ticket. So we're gonna throw a few of them. I've got a dual rigged uh, crappie magnet, tiny little uh, Popeye jig there. And I found uh, quite a, quite a uh, school of fish right here along this pump house. So we're gonna just kind of pitch it along the pump house. These fish are about 10 feet down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch this and before I do anything after I get it casted out there I'm gonna count to about nine and just let it fall one two three four five six seven eight nine let it get down to kind of the depth that I want to present and then just I had one break off I'm using two pound test <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. I got to re-rig. We are back after that wonderful introduction. We're going to throw back out here and try it again. Take two, as they say in the video fishing world. So cast out there. Watch your line. If your line jumps, make sure your drag's adjusted like it wasn't last time for whatever hit it. And then just let that, let that Popeye jig just fall about nine seconds to get into the area where the fish are and then just reel up the slack and watch the line just let them drift they're little tiny baits so anything that hits them uh it's probably going to set the hook on them boom 
And looks like we got a little tiny crappie. Yeah, but a little crappie. But anyway, this is a good bait, good technique to kind of identify what you're shooting for, whether it's bluegill, crappie, whatever you're going after. These Popeye jigs will make short work out of the identification process. So now that we know that that's a school of crappie, now we just gotta kinda hope for a big one. So just throw it out, about nine seconds, start watching your line, that's about eight, nine. So now I'm just watching my line. Anytime my line does something different as it's falling through that water column, pop it, set the hook. Just give it a little, just a little tug. And then just reel up the slack to keep it kinda right in the face of those crappie. I'm not even really watching live scope. I'm just kind of drifting through there and and uh, watching the line. And, oh, I missed him! Darn it! All right, that's a first on Fish Eat Live. So using the uh, crappy magnets hair jigs, I caught a line that had a catfish on it. <laughs> it's this catfish's lucky day. Let's see here. He got a lot of stuff in his mouth that we're just gonna clip that loose and turn him free. Wow. Okay, I've seen it all now. Caught a line that had a fish on it. Okay, well, there's something, always something fun happening. <laughs> Fishy live. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, match the hatch with a 1 16th ounce double cross jig head and a tiny dancer. We're going to... Uh, throw at some of these Georgia cubes that they've put in here as fish attractants and uh, see what we can do. All right, here is a huge school of fish right back here. I mean, it is massive. A massive school of fish right on a ridge, right on a drop off. So we're going to uh, basically 
I'm going to throw this dancer out, let it sink all the way to the bottom before I even make a reel. If it even gets to the bottom without being hit. And we'll see if that little paddle tail action drives these fish crazy. So today I'm using the Sam Super Sensitive uh, IM6 Graphite. Got a real good Portuguese cork handle. Uh, and I'm using the, uh, I think this is the seven foot, yeah. So, all right, I'm on the bottom, so I'm just gonna pop it one time, raise it up, and then just slowly, I mean ever so slowly, just let this thing kind of drift back towards me. Raising the rod tip and reeling up the slack the whole time. Let's see if we can't get one of these fish to bite. There he is. Couldn't resist it. Oh, it's a massive crappie. Look at that. Didn't take long. First cast. A little action on that tail. That was a tiny one. Tiny dancer. <laughs> They must be doing pretty good. They got a little basket of fish up there. Oh, I drifted off. Oh, there was a bite. I missed him. Nope, oh, got it. Came back to it. A little bit nicer fish. Not much. But that's two in a row on the tiny dancer, and he just engulfed it. Okay, we're back after a camera change and a bait change. Going with the dancer and the Popeye jig. Boy, I can't tell if those are big fish or what. They look good. There's a ton of fish out there, but they all seem to be little. I haven't caught a keeper yet, and I know there's keepers in here. I'm getting closer, and I don't know if it's a weed bed or what it is I see out here. But it's chock full of fish. Chock full. Wait a minute, this one's got a better at it. 
attitude. Tiny dancer. And the Popeye jig. Pretty deadly combination. We're doing it every cast. <laughs> Fish right here. No need for minnows. <laughs> Even though we're catching minnows. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. This is a big school or something. Drag it through here, see what happens. There we go. Seems like a nice fish. Let's try to out. Little tiny fish. Oh, well, no wonder he's like a nice fish. Get some two at a time. Popeye jig, tiny dancer. <laughs> I don't think you can uh, get a better advertisement than that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.